748 on this Wednesday morning, and it's interesting, depending where you look, will determine what sort of weather conditions we have this morning, Michelle. Yeah, it's damp and gloomy in Rhode mm -hmm. Island and eastern Connecticut, sun-filled skies and the Cape right now. So yeah. we're kind of right in that boundary here uh, over Rhode Island that's seen the unsettled conditions. Mm. You can see it on our radar. So let's get to the details. Here's a look in Narragansett. Pretty gloomy out there at the moment. And you've had some lighter showers. And we're still watching these uh, blossoming over the area now moving through Providence at 95. So windshield wipers on there. We're not talking about anything particularly heavy, but it's been a damp morning in Westerly and Hope Valley. Parts of Charlestown and now down through North Kingstown and South Kingstown, 375, uh, 395 rather, in eastern Connecticut has also been seeing some of these showers and they stretch up towards Worcester and 495 as well this morning across uh, western Boston suburbs. Here's the satellite and radar. Unsettled conditions firing up ahead of this boundary. This is the dividing line between the really humid stuff that's back to the west of us and more comfortable air that's been in place last couple of days and we're actually going to see our temperatures running below average this afternoon. Clouds and showers going to put in the brakes on the warm up this morning. Now notice by lunchtime most of those showers are sliding more westward. So we may see a little bit of damp conditions still right along the Rhode Island Connecticut border, but the trend will be for those to continue to be pushed further west and at three in the afternoon expecting clouds and some sunshine. So conditions do improve as the day goes on. Overnight tonight, a little low cloud cover and fog in a few locations, but mostly a dry night. And the same goes for the daytime on Thursday. Steadier rain well west of us. An isolated shower may pop up, but the majority of Thursday does look dry. So our best chance for showers is this morning. Not enough to bump up the threat tracker. Just going to be seeing some of that light activity dampening the roadways for your morning commute. So clouds and some light showers early on. Very slow to warm up. I and mean, we're in the 60s all morning and then breaking into that sun and eventually getting into around 70 to 75 for a high temperature. Again, going to be dependent on the, how much sun you actually get through the clouds. And even at the coastline, conditions gradually improving. Surfs around two to three feet. 60s for highs at the beach today. Winds will be out of the southeast. Five to ten knots on the bay. Visibility in the showers this morning on the poor side, but going to be gradually improving. Tonight, down to about 59 in Providence. We'll see some middle 50s in rural areas. And with the higher humidity, a little patchy fog as possible. So we have still an isolated shower in the forecast for tomorrow. Clouds, some sunshine, but generally a dry day. Friday's highs will be close to 80, much warmer over the weekend, 85 to 90 for high temperatures across inland areas, Smithfield and Attleboro, both at about 88 degrees. Upper 70s to near 80 at the coast on Saturday and Sunday, maybe even a little bit warmer. If you're thinking about going to the beach, upper 70s at the shore this weekend.